there we go this is a quick YouTube video to um, show the uh, similarities and difference between a MIFID motor as taken off the lathe this is a Crumpton Parkinson one taken off a MIFID uh, it comes with a this one came with a double stepped pulley and a flat bit there which might have been for a belt anyway this is the plate uh, that's the MIFID plate and if I open up a tape measure, I'll print it at that one. Then the uh, mounting holes in the plate are approximately three inches apart one way and four and three quarters another way. On here, they're four inches apart that way and uh, Five, um, five inches apart the other way. So it's four by five. So uh, the mounting holes, there is, there are there's another bit there uh, on here, are in a slightly different position to the ones that are through this plate. But this plate is just a piece of steel um, and as far as I understand then all you have to do is drill an appropriate hole in the plate to allow the motor to be positioned so the pulley is in line. The other thing is uh, MIFID pulleys come with a certain size shaft, uh, which is whatever size that is, and you can then fit a MIFID pulley directly on. And if you buy a motor without pulley, you're often having to remount or machine out the old pulley to get it fit. The advantage of this one here is it comes ready fitted with a pulley. Because it's a variable speed drive you do not need uh, a stepped pulley. You only need to put this onto one of your three pulleys on the lathe, on the uh, headstock, and that allows you a great, uh, well, some movement in terms of where the base plate fits because you only need to line up with one of those pulleys uh, presumably the middle pulley would be best and then uh, find out where you need to drill the holes for the mounting plate so no problem about pulley because there's a pulley already fitted takes a v-belt the only thing to be done is drilling of some holes which on this were three inches apart and on that are four inches apart uh, and uh, the other holes as well so the plate would need to be drilled out to take the uh, foot of the new motor so uh, anybody uh, with any other better information than that can post it I've not done it yet because uh, I'm selling this motor so this is up for sale at the moment on a lathe uh, Facebook page uh, because I'm going to replace the original motor on one of the lathes and use a different one on the other. So there we go. Right, the, uh, the other major difference of course is that this is a uh, single phase motor this is a three phase motor and you say oh what do I have to have three phase supply no hold on a moment So this motor is sold as a replacement for that, for MIFID lathes, and it comes complete with the box that converts normal mains voltage into the three phase the motor requires, and a pre-wired, uh, let's call it a remote control, you mount this by the lathe, and as you can see it goes reverse, forward and off, and a little knob here that controls the speed. So you now control the speed, not with the pulleys, but with a knob. And so it converts your lathe 
into a variable speed lathe. You do not need three phase, you just need normal main supply and the motor, we can see, it looks, uh, you know, approximately the same size. It's designed for the Myford lathe, its size is chosen to be appropriate for driving the Myford lathe and it's sold as a Myford lathe kit, motor and speed controller. And so what I'm selling is not just the motor, I'm selling these components as well. So you just mount the motor onto the lathe, single pulley use uh, with a V-belt and just the only work that needs doing is positioning the motor in line with the pulley and marking to drill out the base plate so that it will fit the other motor. And that then should fit it to the lathe. Uh, and there we go. Good luck and happy hunting. Let me know what you think. There's room to put comments below.